I got on WhatsApp and our son in Cuenca was wondering if we were okay and he said it was so strong in Cuenca that it swung the doors open to his house. Oh, that's scary. <laughs> So honey, it looks like we got to Quito just in time for the earthquake last night. Oh yeah, I know it. And it uh, woke us up in the middle of the night and... Uh, the I, bed was shaking. I had my... Uh, I got up and couldn't sleep because it's 10,000 feet elevation, but I got on WhatsApp and our son in Cuenca said, was wondering if we were okay and he said it was so strong in Cuenca that it swung the doors open to his house. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, it wasn't quite that strong here. But, wow. you know, earthquakes and Ecuador. Well, it they, was in Peru. It was in Peru, but it was felt pretty strongly. All the way here, and it was Cuenca. Well, it woke us up. It was shaking the bed. Yeah, so earthquakes are like hamburgers or chicken soup. Take your pick <laughs> <laughs> in Ecuador. <laughs> Actually, Quito is the is the name is the full name is the Quito de San Francisco. Oh. And who knows? It's possible that the San Francisco of California copied it from the San Francisco of Quito. But I'm just playing. How do you copy hills? They're already there. <laughs> yeah, but they're both San Francisco and they both have hills, so that's a coincidence. Yeah. Well, one thing about these hills is that you know that on your way downhill you're on your way out of your place and on the way uphill you're back home so it's kind of a Hansel and Gretel way of figuring out if you're going in the right direction generally not as good but but other parts of Quito aren't hilly Colegio bilingual no reason to well it's, it's always a concern when there's a huge earthquake and I, the earthquake apparently was over eight on the Richter scale, which is eight oh. So far this year, you said the it was the biggest, biggest earthquake so far this year in the world. In the world so far this year, which is significant, and it's on this part of the globe. It borders Ecuador, Peru. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a serious matter, actually. Yeah, it is, and we don't know what the death toll is. Hopefully, not none. Yeah. There's always people in shorts in these 60 degree chilly-ish. The cops are looking at the girls in shorts. <laughs> they're trying to figure out why, is it illegal? Oh no, they're just lost. I was wondering, is it illegal to have shorts on? Not if you're not going into a government building. things I like about travel, going, being in different places, is that, well, first, I want to say this. We're going to talk about this kitchen here very briefly. You know how you're watching a movie and you can just, I can just spot the kitchen, the date of the kitchen? You know, we're watching a movie and it's like, oh yeah, that's a 70s kitchen. And then we watch another movie and it's like, yeah, that's an 80s kitchen. 
Why? Because everybody kind of does the same thing, right? Everybody's got the keep up with the Joneses latest kitchen, only 10 or 20 years later, it's no longer the latest kitchen, right? Right. Well, when we go abroad, we get to get a variety of things. We get to see new things. What do you think of this kitchen here? I know some of you guys might not like the open plan. I'm not selling houses or anything. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I was looking at this yesterday and I thought, wow, this is really amazing. All these are is, is just black wooden boxes that are screwed into the wall. That's it. How simple is that? I think it looks kind of cool. I mean, it's like you get these ideas, you know, just because you're exposed to different things from travel. I like it. Yeah, and there's other areas too, not just kitchens. <laughs> you get to see what's in the cupboards. You get to see what's in the cupboards? Yeah, you get to see what's there. Okay, oh, there's yeah. plates. That's where the, the bowls are, you know. But what year is this kitchen, Frank? You said you could tell how old a kitchen is. And no, I can tell what American kitchens. This is Quito. Oh, so, okay. I don't have a clue. This could be 50 years old. I don't know. I'm talking about styles and practicality. I always notice practicality. I mean, how easy would it be to build some black boxes, you know? Yeah, that's my point. Yeah. And I hadn't even noticed even that these bookshelves are just black boxes. Just... Okay, well, do-it-yourselvers. There's a free idea.